Hello and welcome to a Vector Tuts Quick Tip Screencast. My name is Cheryl Graham. Today we're going to use symbols and 3D effects to make ribbons. Take the ellipse tool and draw a circle. It can be any color, it doesn't matter. Now go to the effect menu, choose 3D, extrude, and bevel. I'll turn on the preview and you can see a cylinder forming. You can move this cube around in space to adjust the effect. I also want to make it taller, so I'll increase the extrude depth. And now we have the object that we're going to use to wrap the ribbon around. To make the ribbon, I'll just quickly draw a long, thin rectangle, give it a fill color, then drag copy it two times and color the duplicates. Next, I want to make a symbol by dragging it onto the symbols panel. The type of symbol doesn't matter in the options box here, as that pertains to flash, so either type is fine. I'll just give mine a name, and now you can see its thumbnail in the symbols panel. At this point, you can delete the original or just move it out of the way. Next, we'll go to the Appearance panel and click to edit the 3D effect and map the art. In the Map Art dialog, you'll see a wireframe thumbnail of each surface on the object. The selected surface is highlighted in red on the object itself, as you can see with the ends of the cylinder. The gray in the thumbnail represents the side that you can't see. I want the third surface, and then I'll select my symbol from the drop-down menu and then click the Preview button. As you can see, the symbol is on the gray area. That means it's behind the cylinder. So I'm going to rotate it so you can see it wrapping around the cylinder. We don't want to see the solid gray of the 3D object, so I'll click Invisible Geometry. I'll also check Shade Artwork, which will apply the lighting effects to the symbol, giving it a little more dimension. And then I can go back to the 3D dialog and adjust the lighting from there. And of course, this is a live effect, so I can scale it or otherwise transform it. Let's take a look back at the map art window for a minute. The edges of the ribbon are where the symbol falls off the surface, and they don't overlap. To get the look of a ribbon winding around the cylinder several times will take a bit more planning. The symbol can't actually wind around the object, but you can achieve the look by planning how the two sides of it will meet. This edge is going to meet up with this side, and this piece will butt up against this piece, and so on. So I'll show you how to do that. First, draw out a long, thin rectangle, then drag copy it. Press Command D three times to make three more copies for a total of five. It will help to have smart guides turned on, by the way. Now take the skew tool and holding down the shift key, skew it up a distance that's about equal to the height of the individual rectangles. You can eyeball it for now, and then we'll zoom in and make it exact. Draw a rectangle over the stripes to use for cropping. Again, Smart Guides will help position it. I'm going to zoom in here and view it in outline mode so I can position the rectangle precisely. You might have to adjust the stripes a little bit with the Direct Selection tool, but once you get it lined up, go to the Pathfinder panel, select All, and click the Crop button. When you view the resulting shapes in outline mode, you'll see that there are some leftover objects that have a fill and stroke of none. It's not crucial, but go ahead and delete these leftovers. Now, as before, create a symbol by dragging it into the Symbols panel. I'm going to edit the ribbon I made previously by clicking on the effect in the Appearance panel. I'll go back to Map Art, choose Surface Number 3, then select my new symbol from the drop-down menu. Next, click Scale to Fit, which will fill the surface with the symbol, and if everything lines up correctly, it will look as though the ribbon is wrapping around the cylinder several times. Rather than use 3D Extrude and Bevel, you can also use 3D Revolve. Here, I'll draw a rectangle, then revolve it 360 degrees. I'll adjust the shading, then map the art as before. With 3D Revolve, you can experiment with different shapes and symbols. This curved object, mapped with a series of thin rectangles, takes on a whirlpool look, while this shape resembles a funnel cloud. As always, experiment and have fun.